terrifying, but also gratifying things of, of life as a man is that we're all born relatively valueless. I don't think women are born that way. A woman, if she's born, especially if she's attractive, has an innate value. People just want her no matter what. But as a man, if you're not an important man, nobody gives a fuck about it and they're never gonna care. So you have to build yourself from the ground up and that's scary for a lot of people, but it's also a massive opportunity. You can decide if you wanna be a famous musician or a nice sensitive poet or a painter or a kickboxing world champion or a businessman. You get to decide on all the different characters in the video game. You can choose who do I wanna be? And then if you actually try, actually try, you can become it. Isn't that amazing? You can wake up and go, you know what? I wanna be this kind of guy. I knew who I wanted to be. I want to be the dude pulling up in the Lambo, three in the morning, gets out. Everyone's like, who is this big, strong, rich dude? I want to be that man, so I became it. Mm. And, and if you don't want that, if you want to go be a, a, a musician and play guitar and get a bunch of chicks mm. and chill in Bali and smoke weed, whatever, go, you can choose your yeah. character and build it. A lot of people don't have the ability to understand the compounding effect of doing the right thing time after time. Even if you start a new business, you don't know what to do. I guarantee if you're always on time, if you're a builder and you're always on time, Take the basic shit. Just be on time. Yeah. Over time, you may you may think, oh, I was just on time. No one notices. Trust me. Across ten years, that's the difference between being a successful builder yeah. and not being a successful builder. Yeah. Well, stick to the absolute basics and and do the right thing and do mm. know what you're supposed to do. And this is why I have so little sympathy for people who go, oh, I'm trying to make it and I can't because I think they're lying to me and they're lying to themselves. But you know what's funny? What's funny is this: if you were to take somebody who says, I'm doing my best, I'm really trying and you were to get uh, an exact schedule of their last week and find all the times they've wasted time, you say, look, you've wasted time, wasted time, wasted time, wasted time. You know what's actually amazing? Most of those people are not even self-reflective enough to go, you're right, I'm not trying my best. You know what they'd say? Well, I have to rest sometimes. Mm. Well, I, well, I have to have a social life. Well, I, they'd be so arrogant. Mm. Because they're arrogant. I had to do my Facebook. Yeah, yeah. No matter, you'd even show them. Here's where you fucked up. Mm. Well, you know, I have to. Do, oh, you're crazy. And then they go back to being a loser. Uh, a lazy person thinks he's working too hard, and a successful person thinks he isn't working hard enough. Mm. And we're doing 20 times the work they are. And we're like, oh, I could have done more. Could have done this. Oh, I missed that today. Can't miss that again. Oh, I should have taken that call. I should have flown there. I should have. That's you know, we have guilt about it. They don't mm. give a solitary fuck. And even if you pointed it out to them, they'd sit there and go, oh yeah, and they'd make some excuse for it.